All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year two with our Quebec City Ace Nordiques. Uh, in the last video, we just got the second year season simulation started. We're up here at the beginning of December, and you know what? Things are looking pretty good for the Quebec City Ace Nordiques. Last year, by this time, we were already below 500, you know, a lot of regulation losses. This year, we're well above 500, even overall 500, 13 and 10, so pretty good so far. Now, in the last video, I was asking you guys about any line change ideas that you may have, and um, there's a few, I was reading your comments, there's a few that were good ones. First of all, for San Antonio, Anthony Mantha has to be moved up from the fourth line. I absolutely agree. I don't know why I, uh, I missed him down there. So I'm not going to put him on the first line because Yurko, Gomez, and Barkov are doing pretty good. I don't want to put him on the first line because like, if I mix him with Gomez, that brings down Barkov and Yurko. Gomez is really helping out those two guys. That's why I have Gomez, okay? Remember, this is the AHL team. But I would like to move him up to the second line alongside of Combs and uh, Joey Crab, okay? Joey Crab is 78 overall. He can help him out a little bit. So uh, Anthony Mantha. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be sure to put him on the power plays and all that stuff. Hang on. Power play. Four-man power play. I'm going to leave him off the four-man power play, and I'm not going to put him on the penalty kill because he's not the uh, the greatest defensive player. But now he's getting second-line time and second-line power play time. And you know what? I should start Oscar Dance. What? Well, rotate goalies. Won't matter. Yeah, it won't matter. Okay, so there you go. Thank you for that. And for the Quebec City Ace Nordiques. Now, I've had a lot of different um, line suggestions here. A lot of people are saying move uh, Brian Bickle down to the third or fourth line. I, I completely disagree with that. Mueller and Kopecky and Bickle are all plus players this year. Mueller and Kopecky are a point, like they're on pace for 50 points a season. Bickle's not, but he's playing alongside of them and he's doing good. I don't want to move him off that second line. We're above 500 right now, you know? The first line, I'm not going to change. Um, a lot of you guys were saying, sure, you want to move up to the second line. That's why Bickle had to come down. But the only thing is, Shore already has power play time. He's already getting those minutes, right? And he's on the PK as well. So I'm fine with him staying on the third line. But you guys were saying Sean Mathias definitely needs to come up. He's, he should not be on the fourth line. So... Face off 70. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. So we can switch uh, Matthias with uh, Maxime Talbot because he's a center. Shore can still take the face offs because he's got the 76 for face offs. Yep. Uh, Matthias, Shore, and uh, Moss now. Is Moss a natural right winger? Yeah. Matthias is a center, right? Uh, yeah, he's a center. So I'll switch these two guys around. There you go. And then we'll leave Sean Thornton, uh, Maxime Talbot, and Bobby Butler down there on the fourth line. Okay, we're not going to touch anything else. As for the penalty kill, um, it was bad when we first started it off, but um, I don't know if it was getting better once we put Huberto and Eberle down there. We're going to leave Shore and Kopecky, though. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it right now. I will make some more changes like uh, Bickle down if uh, we start to lose, but that's the thing. Compared to last year, we're looking... We're looking much better than last year, you know? It's just the goals against average, but we're above 500. We can be a playoff team. I don't want to go crazy with the changes just yet. Let's just see how this team does, okay? A few a few minor changes there to the third and fourth line, and uh, we'll see what we do for this month. So we'll go one month at a time here. Uh, there you go. All the way up here, and of course, i got to blow my nose nice and early in the morning. Hang on one second. All right, that's better. So we're December 1st. Yeah, players cannot receive qualifying offers. We know that. So let's keep it going here. Can December be a good month for the Quebec City Ace Nordiques? That's a great way to start it off. Two big wins. That's what I say, man. You got to get those regulation wins in the bank nice and early, especially if we know we're not like a top tier team. You got to get those points nice and early, and you got to try and squeeze out as many overtime losses as you can as well. It's that damn regulation losses, man. I got to keep those as low as we possibly can. Come on. I don't have any uh, like set in stone date that I don't want 20 regulation losses by, but still, man, just rack up as many wins as you can, and if you're going to lose, get some overtime losses. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. So here we go. Man, this is kind of weird with the uh, goalie rotate, or the automated rotate goalies. I don't have to worry about anything. i got to figure out some things to talk about during the season simulation here. Um, okay, so we were scouting forwards for the OHL. Uh, Cram, Arosa, Clark, McDavid. All right, so all these guys up here. And it looks like there's a lot of good... Uh, prospect forwards in the OHL. I mean, three and a half star, three and a half star, four star, four star, four star. And these guys with the green could be a uh, four and a half star by the time we uh, fully get them. Blake Clark and uh, Connor McDavid, all right? But is there somewhere else we should check out? Because I have that pretty well scouted now. WHL, uh, rest of the world. Remember, we don't have... Uh, if we, if we continue to play this way, we're not going to have a good draft pick this year. But I'm fine with that, right? We have the prospects that we need. Let's go, yeah. I was saying that in the last video. The CHL have all the good prospects right now. By years three and four, then I can go out to Sweden, Russia, Finland, all that other stuff. But uh, for right now, I just got to stay in the CHL. So where are we? 
or the 12th. Yeah, I just want to go one month at a time here. So, yeah, if we can get to January before getting 15 regulation losses, I mean, that would be very nice. We've got a few extra games here. If we go on a losing streak, we can easily get to 15. But, man, if we can just keep on winning some games, I think it's our goals for this year. Screw our goals against. Like, our goaltender, he's still not playing as good as Ilya Brzgalov did last year with whatever defensive players that we had that helped it out. But we're scoring goals this year. You know, last year we couldn't score anything. Huberto was still an 82. He made his way up to 86, but still an 82. Everly we got, he turned into an 85, but he didn't have the greatest year. Versteeg only had one goal until we traded him, right? This year we're coming out of the gate firing on all cylinders. There you go. All right, there's a loss. Would have liked it to be an overtime loss, but still. 19, 10, and 2. That's that's pretty good. I'm not going to even complain. But you guys can see why I didn't want to make too many line changes. You know, our team is playing good right now. So even though the individual stats may say, oh, this player doesn't have as many points, what about the players alongside of them? You know, what about the plus minus? What about your overall record? For whatever reason, Bickle, Kopecky, and Mueller, they seem to be doing pretty good together. You know what I mean? And this goes back to last year. I didn't think that uh, Kopecky and Mueller would be that good. I really thought that Thomas Kopecki would be somebody that I was going to trade away. And alongside of, uh, what, was, what was his name? Oh, 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 Campbell, our defenseman, right? What if I traded him away last year and uh, didn't retain or retain some of the cap? I'd be $3 million of cap space in the hole, and I wouldn't have that offensive defenseman up there that's probably a lot, probably way up there in points, man, because I think that's why we're scoring a lot of goals. He's on the first line, offensive defenseman. So we are at January, and no longer am I worried about us being a playoff team, man. We could be a President's Trophy winning team with a record like that. We're 2-1 to one loss ratio all of a sudden. December was a great month for the Quebec City Ace Nordiques, man. How many losses? One, we had one, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and one. Uh, yeah, nine and one. Eleven and two. Jesus, thirteen and three. No, no, yeah, yeah, okay, that's going back there. Yeah, eleven and two, basically. Holy crap, we were eleven and two in that month of December. Okay, so whatever line changes we made right there could be coincidence, but it also could be something special. So the team standings, we are in first in the Division C. <laughs> second in the Eastern Conference. Philadelphia's got 53 points, but we're second in the NHL right now. So something, something's going right on the Quebec City Ace Nordiques right now, which is good because I don't think we're going to win the President's Trophy this year. I do feel like uh, something bad's going to happen. We're going to come back down to earth. But in the meantime, we already have 24 regulation wins, which really helps out. Goals again. Against average, we are not up there. Save percentage, we're not up there. So it's definitely not our goaltending or our goals against. It's our goals for that's helping us out. Eddie Lacks got the most wins, though. That's quite nice. And points, we're not up there either. Uh, assists, uh, Jonathan Huberto first in the NHL with assists and goals. Uh, Jordan Everly second in the NHL for goals. So that's it right there. And look at that, Thomas Fleischman. He's down there in seventh for goals. So that's why Huberto... He might not have a lot of goals, but he's setting up those two guys all day long. So let's do, uh, yeah, let's do the stats. We'll do everything normally here. Team standings again. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, harder to tell just because the uh, the beginning few months. But I'd expect, yeah, after that amazing month, I'd expect us to be top ten for every category here. Goals four per game, three goals four per game. That's exactly what I want to be at. So keep that up there. Goals against per game, we're still down there at two point five eight, but I think that is improving. Okay. Uh, power play percentage, fifth in the NHL. So our power play is clicking. And penalty kill, this should be a good one. Penalty kill, 78.8. So I think it is getting better slowly, but uh, it's still one of the worst ones. Man, if, could you imagine if we had like a top 10 penalty kill as well? We'd be, uh, we'd be way in first place. Our home record, 10-7-1. Our away record, 14-3-1. And, and our last 10 were 9-1-0. and oh. So I, I don't think I need to make any line changes. I think you guys would agree with that. Our team is just is cooking right now. And you know what? I should check out the progress reports before I do another month simulating because, you know, it'd be pretty cool to see. Because um, somebody's got to be on fire right now. Somebody's got to be on fire. So forwards, here we go. Uh, so Jonathan Huberto, point of game player, only five goals, but he's the point guy. Don't worry about that. I could care less about his lack of goals because uh, you got the goal scorer in Fleischman and Eberle apparently alongside of him. These guys are clicking. All right, I do. I do not care what happens, how they get the goals, who gets the assists, as long as they're being point of game players. I'm fine with that. Huberto, point of game. Eberle might as well be point of game, but he's on pace for a good 40 goal season, man. If he continues this, so Eberle's turning out to be a stud. Fleischman, what a, what a great just 
third player on that line. You know, he's not getting in the way. He's allowing these guys to play. And he's got 29 goals or 29 points for himself. Mueller, 29 points on the second line alongside of Kopecky. Shore, he's on the third line. But remember, he's got second line power play time. So that's why I say he's got more points than Bickle. Um, well, Moss and Talbot, they got more points than Bickle as well. Now, Bickle, 10 points in 36 games. I know what you guys are saying, right? Move him down. Move him down. Plus 10. All right, Kopecky, plus 7. Mueller, plus 7. Okay, sure, minus 8. Moss, minus 3. Talbot, minus 1. The second line are plus players. The first line are pu uh, plus players, all right? That's, uh, I'm keeping Bickle up there. Yeah, whatever he's doing, I don't care. He's staying on that second line, all right? That's the end of that. Uh, defenseman. All right, there it is. There's the $7 million player right there. He is earning that $7 million this year. 29 points in 36 games. I mean, he could be on pace for a 60-point season. I could care less about his age. All right, hell yeah, I'm glad I didn't trade this guy away. Campbell, 29 points. Myers, 19. Kolokov, 16. Good Branson, 6. Green and Frazier, 5 and 5, okay? And goaltenders, Eddie Lack. All right, so finally, he's dropped that goals against average. I'd like it to be below 2.25, but he's working on it. All right, no, no, no complaints here, Eddie Lack. I'm just saying for the... Uh, for the whole season kind of thing. He can still get that better. Wins 21-7-1. So, yeah, Eddie Lack, what a signing. Save percentage, 92.49. Now he's playing more like Rizgalov did. Okay? That's more like it. So, Markstrom, man, you are really being left in the dust here. But I could care less because we're winning games. So, I'm not going to make any line changes. But I will show you guys the progress reports. Let's see... Um, Who's gotten better here? Bickles dropped by three still. Sean Thornton's dropped by five. All right, so uh, they're probably just not getting a lot of ice time. Nothing I can do there. Goalies, okay. AHL goalies. Dansk looks like he's gone up or maybe down by one. Suter's gone up by eight. Yurko, seven. Shaw, five. McFarland. Mantha, three. All right, so uh, what's his name? Barkoff has gone up by none. We can check out. Oh, no, I can't check him out from here. Whatever. Check out his individual stats later. Don't have time right now. So the AHL team is 18-13-2. They're fine. They can make the playoffs if they just continue to play uh, play okay. So we're going to go one more month here. I don't think I want to make any line changes even if we start to lose games. Let's just uh, let's go one more month. I, I, we're not going to get to the trade deadline in this video, I don't think. Unless we fly by this, but uh, I don't I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, there you go. There you go. Year two, all-star game. So, yeah, I was wrong about that. It is the, uh, the Olympic break. Okay, so let's continue this. We are in January. Let's see if we can continue here. 9-1 and one in our last 10 games. Boston Bruins. I mean, these East Coast teams, man, if we can just keep beating them, those, that's great. Now we lose in regulation to Boston. Now come on, back with a win. There you go, Ottawa. That wasn't the greatest team. See, we are. We are playing like a President's Trophy winning team, man. I don't want to jinx us or anything, but why shouldn't I be confident in our players? They're playing good. Look, again, they're playing good. I, I don't know. I should be confident. I I got to get out of that mindset of, oh my god, we're going to go on a 10-game losing streak and get back down to 500, and I'm going to have to trade some players away at the trade deadline and rebuild for next year. I got to get away from that. We can be a good team this year, and this actually may be t a, a good time to sign or trade for a veteran at trade deadline for a playoff push. You know, somebody with basically no trade value. I wouldn't go out and get a stud, but maybe somebody for the fourth line, you know, instead of... Um, Instead of uh, Butler and, uh, and uh, no, Sean Thornton can stay back there. He's a good grinder. But uh, Butler, right, a sniper on the fourth line, maybe get like a, a more established tough guy or a two-way forward or a power forward or grinder for a playoff push with one year left on his deal. Whatever age, like, even if he's 36 years old, whatever, right? I don't know. We're going to have to decide here. But uh, we're playing pretty good. Yeah, there's another loss. Don't worry about it. I don't think we're going to finish the season 2-to-1 loss ratio, but just keep on getting those wins and just trim off the, the uh, regulation losses. There you go. Come back with another win again. That's what I like to see. Every time we have a regulation loss, we come back with a win. Look at back-to-back -back shutouts after a 4 to Oh, we lost two. Never mind. But we lose, we lose two and we come back with two shutouts. Holy crap. All right, you know what? Maybe I should just uh, fast-forward to the trade deadline in this video. Why not? I don't even need to check the stats. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get to the trade deadline in this video. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to fast-forward here. I don't have to worry. Whatever lineup we have right now, our team is doing good. Our team is doing good. 31-16. and 16, We'd have to lose 10 games, and we'd still be 5 games above 500. So, and that's not going to happen. I, I don't know why I keep on thinking that. We're not going to start losing games all of a sudden. We're a good team this year. We have exactly what we need. So, just keep on going. Huberto, Everly, and Fleischman, uh, Campbell, and Eddie Lack. You guys are our friggin' goal scorers and our uh, goal preventers right now. So, if, as long as you guys are doing good, we're fine. So, scouting assignments, we just did the uh, the WHL. Let's go back to the QMJHL for forwards for six weeks. And then we'll check it out after that. Because I did the OHL, 
just through the WHL, now a little bit in the QMJHL. We can see we're not going to have that top five pick, even top ten pick, maybe even top twenty pick for the way we're playing. But um, maybe if we can find one of those uh, good picks in the late first round, early second round, we'll pick them up. Like three and a half star, even four star maybe. That'd be nice. Hell yeah, baby. We're a good team this year. All right, put my foot down. We're a good team. All right, no more complaining. No more worrying about uh, falling back below 500. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, we got, we got what, 12 more wins. We're at 92 points. So we're fine, man. We can we can do this this year. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Don't start losing now. There's two regulation losses in a row. Come on. Finish strong up to the trade deadline. How many games? Le you know what? I'm not even going to go there. I was going to say, you know, win me like six games, six more games before the trade deadline. Just keep playing the way you guys have been playing. You're playing fine, all right? You're going to make the playoffs. You're fine with this team right now. There you go. Another win. Hell, yeah. You lose two, you win two. I'm liking this team here in Quebec City, boys. I'm really liking this team. I, you know what? I may want to like uh, stop this video and just save it. <laughs> not not save uh, the season, but just uh, do that switch over to the video. Because if I lost this now, that would really suck. Our, our team has been playing amazing so far. So just keep on going up here. February. You know what? Yeah, I, I've, I've talked myself into saving it. Hang on a sec. Just uh, switch the video over just so we don't uh, get caught. Where are we? Yeah, we still have some. Yeah, we still have like two more weeks of simulating to do. So let's get to the trade deadline in this video. Hang on one second here, boys. All right, that's much better. I did not want to lose this season. Crazier things have happened. Murphy's Law. You guys always hear me barking about Murphy's Law. If it can happen, it will happen. My power will go off or something like that. All right, so let's just get this done. So 35, 18, and 2, 35, and 20, 15 games above regulation. Not in regulation, total 500. I mean, good God, we are a good team this year. All right, I would like some more overtime losses in there. You see what I mean about the regulation losses? Look, they are creeping up. At least we got the wins, but just like five more of those regulation losses into overtime losses would be nice. I still think we could be a President's Trophy winning team. I'm not going to bank on it, but because um, I'm expecting, I still am expecting that five or six game losing streak to come. I, I still think we're going to make the playoffs, but I still think that losing streak is around the corner somewhere. Because if it doesn't come, we are going to win the President's Trophy. I mean, we have an outstanding record here. And look, we lose a few, we come back and win a few. All right, yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, if, yeah, I have full confidence in this team. I keep saying that, but uh, just weird. Did not feel like we had an outstanding team this year. But offensively, I guess we do, man. Eberle and Huberdeau, they are studs. We saw Huberdeau's individual stats for this year. He's got 90s everywhere. And uh, Campbell on the first line, he's an offensive defenseman. He's got 90s everywhere everywhere offensively. I mean, goals against, we're not one of the best teams, but it's our goals for that's helping us. So we are at the trade deadline, yeah. Uh, I don't want to simulate just in case it does something. We're going to leave it right here, okay? 39, 21, and 2. Holy crap, who saw this coming? Uh, save percentage and goals against average, are we up there? No, we're not. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not up there for anything. So you see what I mean? It's... Um, we're still allowing goals, but it's just our offense has done a 180 from la from last year. Wins, Eddie Lack is up there with 34, so he's getting plenty of starts. Uh, points, are we up there? You see what I mean? We're not even up there for points. We're up there for goals and assists, but not total points. Assists, Jonathan Huberto is leading the league with 46, quite nice. And goals, uh, yeah, Everly's down there in 7th, but he's... Only two points behind first place Ovechkin, okay? So Everly, I don't know if he's going to get 40 goals anymore. He'd have to have a really good end. But 30, 35 goal season, that's still good enough for Everly. I'm happy with that. Uh, Division C, so we're in first place in Division C with 80 points. Uh, third place in the Eastern Conference behind Philadelphia and the New York Islanders. So, yeah, I think we should be a playoff team. You know, I, I don't necessarily want to make a trade and mess with things, but I think a fourth line acquisition might be a good idea. Um, there's the, uh, oh my God, we're killing the Western Conference as well. So, I mean, yeah, we should be a playoff team. Detroit, third in our division, 68 points, 12 points behind us. That's six wins with us getting six regulation losses. Um, I mean, crazier things have happened, but man, I mean, we should be a playoff team this year, okay? So let's check out all the uh, the stats here, team standings. Let's see if this if this stuff has improved. Um, oh, 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 NHL. Okay, so goals for uh, goals four per game. Yeah, we were at three before we dropped a little bit, but I mean, three goal four per game throughout the whole season. That's tough. Uh, two point seven five or above. That's good enough for me. And uh, two point nine four. I mean, that's we're second in the NHL, so we're scoring goals. All right, goals against per game. All right, look at that. That has dramatically gone through the ceiling, okay? I mean, that was dead last before, 2.7 something before. We've made that all the way up. It was a long time getting it up there, but we got it all the way up. Where are we? There you go, to 11th in the NHL, 2.47. And I'd say in maybe the last month, we've been top three. You know, it's just been the wait for the first few months bringing it back down. 
Uh, power play percentage, all right, that could be better, but we're, I don't want to make any changes, and uh, penalty kill percentage, that has gone up, all right, 90s, yeah, it's 79, I think we were 77 or 78 before, even though we're still 27th in the NHL, that has gone up, got to catch these guys, though, um, and then home and away, yeah, 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 all right, so there are the individual stats for you, player stats, I can nitpick some of those individual stats for the team standings, but I don't, I don't, It'd be stupid to make any line changes. It would, it would be stupid. Acquisition for the fourth line, that's one thing. But to change the first, second, even third line, it'd be stupid right now. Uh, Huberto, 59 points in 62 games. Basically a point-of-game player. And he's only going to get better. Remember, they're younger. Wait till their, uh, their stats get even better. Eberle, 50 points in 62 games. So he's not quite a point-of-game player. His goals came down a little bit. Okay, but uh, I'm fine with that. He's still getting better as well. I'm fine with that. Uh, Fleischman, what a great year for him. Um... You know, on the first line, I would ha like him to have a little bit more, but as an 84 overall playmaker, somebody who we weren't expecting too much out of, 20 goal season, 20 assist season, you know what, that's solid. I'm, I'm fine with Fleischman. The second line, however, these guys are the heart and soul of the team. I mean, remember what I was saying back in uh, Vancouver about Faxa on the third line center, you know, he was arguably our best player for his role. He was overachieving. And this is the same thing for Mueller and Kopecky, man. They are well on their way for 50 point seasons, 20 goal seasons, as well, and that's another reason why Bickle, he is doing great alongside of them. I don't know if he's helping them out or what, but that's why I don't feel comfortable breaking up that second line, because these guys are doing fantastic. Shore, 27 points, he's getting that power play time, he's getting some points, getting some goals, alright? Moss down there, he's doing great for the third line, that's only third line time. Bickle, alright, 17 points, he is a plus 14, alright? So, I mean, that's why I'm keeping Bickle, no, that's, I'm keeping him. But the fourth line, this is what I'm talking about. They're all minus. Talbot, uh, Sean Thornton, and Bobby Butler. Now, I mean, the fourth line is sometimes going to be a minus. You can't do anything about it, right? But I'm thinking uh, Bobby Butler might be somebody that we want to replace. Yeah, he can get some points for us on the uh, the fourth line, I guess. But uh, I'd rather have somebody with a jacked-up physical and a jacked-up defensive category back there. And maybe uh, somebody who can... Uh, be used for a penalty killer. You know, Bobby Butler could come in as an injury player in the playoffs. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's got the, the least amount of points on our team, and he's a sniper, so what's there's no point for him, right? We can keep Talbot, we can keep uh, Sean Thornton, but maybe get uh, a nice right winger for the fourth line, okay? Don't want to break up the third line. They're doing fine together. Defensively, I don't think we need a defenseman. Campbell, look at this guy. What a stud! What a stud. I'm glad I didn't trade him, man. 7.5 million. Well worth it. <laughs> uh, Myers, 35. Kolokov, 31. Good Branson, 13. Green and Frazier. I don't want to trade these guys. They're fine. Look at Green and Frazier. Plus 24 and plus 13. Man, the third line defensive defensemen, they tear it up. Uh, Good Branson and Kolokov. They're fine. All right. They're fine. So, you know what, defensemen? I don't need anything. And goaltenders. Uh, Eddie Lack is playing great, man. Look at that. 34, 15. Man, Marks from 5 and 6. Whew. You then no wonder you're getting sat, man. Eddie Lack is tearing it up. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we'll do uh, progress reports, and then I want to go not to the trading block, but we'll just uh, fly through some of the teams, and you guys can uh, actually no, we'll do trading. Yeah, we'll do trading blocks. Hang on. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Progress reports. Yes, progress reports. See, this is why I wanted to save it. If I lost it while I was doing this stuff, I'd flip the fuck out. All right, so all skaters, nobody's grown on our team this year. Okay, a Markstrom, nobody's grown. See, I, I think it's because Huberto's playing what he should be playing like, a 90 overall, right? He's not overachieving now. He's playing like a first liner, should. Uh, AHL, all right, Suter, Yurko, all right, Mantha, yep, all these guys, and then goaltenders. All right, so no one's really on fire on our team, but they're playing, they're playing good enough for me. I could care less. All right, so now... Before we go into this trade deadline, I want to show you guys some possibilities for that fourth line because I think that would be a great idea for us. Okay, so wants. So we're going to go to uh, forward, um, player role. Let's go to a third line checking forward. Okay, it doesn't matter about potential, it doesn't matter about age. I'm not going to put a first line back there, so that's why I'm searching third line checking forward. Uh, physical, four and a half, and uh, no, not skating, defense. There might not be any third line forwards like this, but I'm just going to narrow down the field. All right, so let's see if there's anybody third line. All right, so here we go. 
All right, so this here's the list. Here's the list right here. Who can we grab from here would be a perfect fourth liner. Not third liner, not second liner, fourth liner. Looking at Matt Bileski, I wouldn't want to put a uh, 84 overall player on the fourth line, right? I'd want to move Moss down there, but I wouldn't want to shake up this team right now. Zach Smith, Steve Ott, Suter, uh, Clifford, Prust, all right, these guys. Prust would be nice. I mean, he's got horrible discipline, but his defensive awareness, 85, and as a grinder, he's pretty tough. You know, that would be a nice, yeah, that would be a nice acquisition. Clifford, Kyle Clifford, grinder. He's got a good defensive awareness as well and a good physical category. Yeah, that would be a good pickup. Suter, uh, no, no, he's more of a third-line center. I wouldn't want to grab him. Trade value is getting a little bit up. Uh, Steve Ott, yeah, I'd grab Steve Ott. He would work out. And Zach Smith, yeah, oh, yeah, he's got a really good, you know, I'd rather go after Zach Smith for that defensive category. That's real good. But maybe he should be a third-liner instead, right? There's the salary, all right, yeah, you know what, Clifford's looking quite nice, and Prust, I could afford that for another two years. Prust trade value as well, I could, I could, I could steal him, no problem. All right, and you know what, let's just check out his individual stats here. He's a, he's a, he's a plus player at 17 points, so, you know, I don't know, I think Brandon Prust boys might be a great acquisition for a team, or Kyle Clifford, just because of the trade values. All right, we don't have anyone really that I want to trade, so I got my eye on Brandon Prust. Let me go. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, I'm open to suggestions, all right, but uh, you guys just saw the trading block. I don't want to put a first or second liner on the fourth line. I don't want to trade for a first or second liner. Brendan Prust, defensive awareness, nice. Physical category, nice. Discipline, a bit low, but he's on the fourth line. He's a plus player, and he's got a good contract that I can handle, all right? So we're going to leave it right there. You guys let me know. And in the next video, season wrap-up before the playoffs? Playoffs? Oh my goodness gracious.